Let's, let's bring up one of the comedians. Let's bring up Sanovi. Come on, Sanovi. Ooh, get up here. Let's rock it. Hey, yay. Hey, yay. for Sanovi. I've got to learn about the adventure. <laughs> yeah. All right. There she comes. Uh, I, Sanovi, have you watched Fargo, the new TV show? It's great, and it all takes place right in your backyard. Yeah. Are you reading my sign? It says coffee lovers celebrate. Yeah. Which I think she said. I, I don't yeah. see it. There you go. Turn around. Yeah, Hello, right. Sonovi. I watched one episode of it. It took place in Bemidji, which is where I live. And I yeah. didn't watch anymore. <clears throat> I watched the whole 10. Oh. It's great. Oof, Um, Only Sven and Lars are in jail for stealing Ludafisk. And they decide to break out. And um, to their surprise, their plan works, and they find themselves free and on the run. And Oli sees a barn, and he says, let's hide in the hayloft. They'll never find us there. So they sleep overnight in the barn, and Oli hears uh, police officers outside, and one of the officers yells, Come out with your hands in the air, you lousy ludicrous lifters. So, uh, Oli says to Sven and Lars, let's hide in those baskets over there. They'll never find us. So Oli gets in the first, Sven in the second basket, and Lars gets in the third. And the officers get a ladder set up, and they're climbing up to the loft, and once they get up, one of the officers uh, starts kicking the basket. He kicks the first basket. Oli's inside, and he shouts, ruff, ruff. Oh, it's <laughs> just a dog, and this one yells the officer. <laughs> and um, he kicks the second basket, and Sven's inside, and he says, Meow. Well, it's just a cat in that one, the officer <laughs> says, and... He kicks the third basket, and Lars yells out, Potatoes! <laughs> uh, one night, uh, Lena and Oli, they had a fight. And a little later, Oli walks into the bedroom, and he finds Lena packing her suitcase. Oli says, where are you going? And Lena says, uh, I'm going to Oslo. There they pay a woman 200 kroner for what I do for you in bed for free. And to Lena's surprise, Oli grabs his suitcase and starts packing. And Lena asks, what are you doing? And Oli says, I'm going with you. I want to see you live on 400 kroner a year. <laughs> <laughs> So one night, Oli was sitting reading the paper, and he looked out the window, and he saw his barn was on fire, and he jumped up and called the fire department and says, Hurry, come quick, my barn's burning down. And the fire chief replied, Oli, slow down. Now, how do we get there? And Oli says, Well, uh, don't you have that little red truck anymore? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Woo! Yeah. Yay! Uh, bravo! Yeah, way to go. Yay. We love your jokes, by the way. Everybody does. So you awesome. need to know that, all right? You know, you make us laugh in good time. But why don't yeah. you watch the rest of the uh, Fargo? Billy Bob Thornton is just fabulous. He gets even worse during it. <laughs> that I mean, was <laughs> the worst show I've ever seen. Uh... Like I say, I live in Bemidji, and uh, there was this murder that takes place on Highway 71, and uh, that's where my family lives. My grandfather oh. lived there, my aunt and uncle. <laughs> I don't know. I just it, It's something about it that I didn't like. <laughs> and yeah, nobody mother... talks like that. In her yeah, well, I know the accent was bad, that's for sure. The worst movie I ever saw was Bambi. You know, it was an entire episode about a transgendered deer. 
and that was very hard <laughs> for me to take. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, a Bambi was a male deer, okay? In case oh you didn't gosh. know it, all right? Yeah. Does everybody know that? <laughs>